I've been conflicted about making this video all day. It's been bothering me. I'll probably take this video down. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the Buzz House. If you are OG subscriber, welcome back. And if you're here because of the title of the video, I hope you subscribe before you go. I never thought I was gonna make a video like this about this creator. Before I start, let's do an update. Julian and Jenna have in total five channels. Jenna has two channels, Jenna Marbles and Jenna Marbles Vlog. The Jenna Marbles channel still has most of her content with the caveat that she demonetized her channel. I don't think it's YouTube who demonetized her, but she's not monetized right now. Her second channel, Jenna Marbles Vlog, has no content as of now and is also demonetized. Julian has three channels. Julian and Jenna still up all of the videos monetized. Julian Solomita, his own channel, still up and monetized. Jenna and Julian Games, still up and monetized. All of these channels, besides the one that has no content, have not been receiving any new uploads for the past two weeks. I just want to truly disappear. Two weeks ago, Jenna has uploaded the video, a message where she addressed the whole situation with her and she informed all of her fans that she was going to take a break indefinitely. We're not judging you. She deleted that video two days ago. I received an email shortly after. Due to a copyright claim, your YouTube video has been blocked. This means that your video can no longer be played on YouTube. The copyright claim was by her. I got a little heated and I went to Twitter. So Jenna Marbles copyright claimed my video. She deleted her last video. Low blow because if I get a copyright strike, I may not get YouTube partner program. Messaged her and didn't get even a read. A fan of this lady for 10 plus years. Just wow. I received a comment back from someone. It might have been a bot. From what Julian has said, I don't believe she is online at all at the moment. So I doubt she's looking at the videos about her, let alone opening any DMs. And I said, I hope so. I have DM her on Instagram. Let's see what's up. Try DMing Julian since Jenna's offline. I said, I'll give it a couple of days and I'll try if anything. Thank you for the tip. Jenna isn't the type to copyright claim videos. She willingly watched re-uploaded content in Russian and stated she wouldn't strike videos and to let people have fun. More than likely, it was a bot. Trust that Jenna isn't that type of person. I know, I've been a fan for nine years and I am as surprised as I can be with this. However, it is about the last video she posted and she said that she would delete it. So I don't know. I'm afraid because if I dispute it, she can refuse it and I get a strike. Then I decided to research what can I do? So I went to the back end of my YouTube studio and I looked up the copyright. As of now, I don't have a strike. The visibility is blocked. I'm not monetized by YouTube, so I'm not making money off the video. And for that matter, I don't make money from any of my videos. So that wasn't a surprise. The copyright owner is Jenna Marbles. And if you can see here on the little screen, the part that have been copyrighted. That part that have been copyrighted is her entire video because I downloaded it and I put it in my video. I did that because I wanted to make sure since I knew she was going to delete the video eventually I wanted to make sure that people had access to it if they needed to know more about the story I knew that posting her entire video in my video could have ended up in this situation so I was okay with taking it down the options that I was given because it was a request to block the video were to trim the part that have been copyrighted or to dispute it I went to research on disputing what happens after you dispute after you submit your dispute the copyright owner has 30 days to respond. There are few actions the copyright owner can take. Release the claim if they agree with your dispute. Uphold the claim. If they believe their claim is still valid, they can uphold it. If you feel it's mistakenly upheld, you can appeal their decision. Take down your video. They can submit a copyright takedown request to remove your video from YouTube, which means you will get a copyright strike on your account. So the risks that I was running here was once I did the dispute, if they didn't agree with it, I could end up with a strike on my channel. And I was really afraid of it because the channel is growing. I am very close to have the Buzz House up for monetization. I didn't want to risk and dispute. I decided to message Jana to see and confirm that it was not a bot. And I DM'd her on Instagram, just like I said on my tweet. Hi, I noticed you placed a strike to my video. I would like to ask you why, or rather a claim. She didn't read it, she didn't answer, nothing. Then I took the advice that I was given in Twitter and I reached to Julian. Hi, 
I am a small, super micro channel and a long time fan of your girlfriend. I made a video about her and it got copyright claim. I have reached out to her to see what's going on and talk about it to no avail. All I want is to see if she is truly not okay with the part claimed. And if so, I'll be happy to cut it off as requested. Thanks. He also didn't open it. He also didn't answer. <sighs> Thank to you guys, the channel is growing slowly and steady and I didn't want to have this copyright claim just sitting there. So I decided that I needed to do something. I went to my YouTube studio and I decided to trim off the part that has been claimed, which is her entire video. And that's fine. My video is a commentary. I just left it there for other people to have information. As long as my commentary is there, that's fine. So I went ahead and trimmed the video. The copyright claim didn't go away. I opened it again and this is what I saw. Literally, she copyright claimed every single small clip that I used on the commentary part of my video. And that is a huge reason why I'm making this video. My video was a commentary reaction. She was correct on the very first one that I trimmed off. I had uploaded her entire video within my video. But for her to copyright claim snippets of my commentary portion, in my opinion, that commentary portion falls into fair use. In my opinion, this is a abuse of copyright claim. I just wanna make sure to reiterate to you guys that I'm making this video not because I wanna bash or produce any drama or come after anyone. I am making this video because I had to trim that second copyright claim that she gave me. And now the video looks crazy. It makes no sense. And I'm gonna deal with it in the future. I feel like the part where she's claiming me for the snippets are in my opinion, abuse of the copyright claim system. In the past, I have spoken up how we as small content creators should protect our content and dispute these claims and now i learned this lesson that when you are being confronted by a bigger youtuber you're getting into a milestone in your channel and something like this happens i didn't understand how scary it can be to be standing in front of a creator with 20 million subscribers who I am pretty sure are going to give me a lot of hate. But I want you guys to understand, I'm a fan of hers. I wish she comes back soon, but I needed to come out and tell you guys how disappointed I am of this. To have a creator who I have followed for a decade, a creator that inspired me to start my own channel. Obviously, I'm not funny. I'm not a comedian. It's really disappointing and heartbreaking. This creator who's been in the platform for so long, and I would never expect a creator like her to actually do that. And it was not a MCN. It was not an Awesomeness TV. It was her name. Since I couldn't get in contact with her to confirm if it was a bot or not, as of now, the time of this filming, I am believing that it was Jenna Marbles herself. I'm disappointed. I'm heartbroken and honestly a little angry. Thank you so much for watching this rent and hopefully I get an answer from them in the future. Uh, hopefully this gets clarified, but I don't think that a 800 subscriber channel will get any answers but a girl can dream right but if i do get any updates i'll let you guys know let me know what you guys think don't forget to subscribe before you go ring the bell button so you can get notified every time i post i have been posting a lot lately i'm probably failing at my scheduled uploads but i'm trying to give you guys as much content as possible while i can like this video follow me on instagram i've been posting some fun stuff over there for you guys and i hope to see you guys in the next upload bye